Hey guys, Wack here, welcome back to another video, and in this video, I'm gonna be once again covering the Jacksepticeye situation, not because it got me views, no, that's not the reason, because, well, with views comes good people, but alongside the good people, the people that subscribe to my channel, the people that give Jacksepticeye so much love in my comment section, and even on his newest video, well, there's always the bad that comes with that. So in this video, I'm gonna be elaborating more on the Jacksepticeye situation, because, well, let's just say it gets way worse than what it was, because I did not realize how deep this was, how deep this quote-unquote meme actually goes, and how many people, the sheer number of people that are participating in this joke because they think it's funny and think they shouldn't have anything held against them because of it. They think it's totally fine, man. I had to argue with someone over this this afternoon, and it really drove me over the edge to make a video about it. So congrats, man. You're about to get the publicity you want, but let's see at what cost. For those of you who don't know, Jacksepticeye's a huge YouTuber. He does variety stuff, mostly gaming though, and he's a pretty cool guy. There's nothing wrong with him. He's not controversial. He hasn't been cancelled ever, and well, let's just say he's a perfect family-friendly channel other than the occasional swearing. Even though Jacksepticeye occasionally swears, I would still recommend his channel to basically anyone. The stuff he teaches, the way he talks, the just, the good person, the vibe that comes off, this guy's immaculate. And that's why the thing that's happening to him right now with people making fun of his dad, who is since deceased, just makes me absolutely sick and makes me, quite frankly, want to vomit. Just look at this. When Sean's dad died, true fans of Jacksepticeye had a moment of silence out of respect. Good person. People can be cruel, man. I mean, of all people, Jacksepticeye didn't deserve this man. This man is basically a father figure to me, and in almost every video, he was genuinely giving me great advice. It always talks freely to us. Jack deserves better, man. Simply facts spit from this guy. And there's still people that think, oh, it's just satire. I'm having fun doing this, so what's wrong with it? And I'm about to cover someone commenting like that, and man, I truly am sorry that your parents didn't raise you right. I am so sorry that you were unfortunately born into this world with the wrong type of parents. The parents that don't teach you to be a good person online, but... I'm gonna hopefully teach you today because, well, I'm gonna be teaching an adult why it's just a stupid thing to do in general. And yes, I argued with an actual adult, someone who's of age to drink about the situation, and they think what they're doing is just a fun pastime, man. How lonely, how down bad do you have to be to make jokes about someone's dad passing when you're an adult, man? I understand, like, an 11-year-old doing it, and them not understanding what they're doing is just being stupid, but, like, you're a grown-ass man. You passed high school. You may be in college. You may have passed college. Like, what is wrong with you? There's something called common decency. Most people have it, however, I guess this simple adult did not, well, simple. By simple, I mean simple-minded. Other than the occasional person who would delete their comment after saying something like Jacksepticeye's dad's dead LOL laughing emoji or something just so funny like that. There's people that keep their comment up, Jack dad in hell. Oh wow, nice one, Jack dad in hell. Very nice, one subscriber, zero likes. I bet your life's amazing. Then there's people like this on screen right now, and I hope your college, whatever college you apply to, I hope your high school finds this. And I'm not a big proponent of, oh, go look for this person's school, dox this person, but good God, man, you deserve to be exposed for this. Like, what is this? Yes, I'm giving this guy the attention he most clearly wants, but I just think people like this need to be called out. I could literally just show his profile picture and that'd be enough. But are you kidding me? Your main channel, I do not care. And along with that, why are you even commenting Jacksepticeye's dad's dead? It doesn't matter. Why does it matter to you? Let's see this main channel, right? 19 subscribers. Wow, nice one. Also, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna blur out this guy's channel so I can't show you the awful title, but the title goes something along the lines of Jacksepticeye's dad dead 3am challenge, something like JStation, and here's the thumbnail. Look at this loser on the right. I'm gonna put a quick trigger warning for just being an absolute idiot because this dude's about to imitate Jacksepticeye's dad in hell, and yeah, uh, it's something. It really is something. Hey, Dad, I'm burning in hell. Ah. I hate black people. I want to get. I understand that some of you guys are children. Like, some of the people that watch my content are very young. However, I can't imagine having such a young demographic that you have to make jokes such as, like, imposter, sus. Look at this thumbnail 3 a.m. Jacksepticeye's dad. Who are you looking for? What is the goal? You're not making any money off YouTube. Like, you could be doing so much better things with your life. You could, but you're not. And this is what shocks me. I thought it was like one or two people doing this, and I, by the odd chance, had someone reply to my comment on Jaden's video saying something along the lines of Jack's up guys dads, and who I'm like, wow, this person's an asshole. Let me dig deep, and I saw other people made videos about the same thing, so I'm like, damn, I gotta talk about this. This is a big problem. But then there's more and more and more. There's just so many just people that don't understand that what they're saying hurts people. Do you not understand what Jack Septic guy feels like? You understand that he's an influencer. However, people do see videos. It's not 
not like he's not a human. And I just read a comment from down below that says this dude's actually 17 years old. And at 17, you should be looking for women, alright? Like, I, I don't mean to be that guy, but you should be looking for a girlfriend. You should be looking to get good grades. You should be looking to take college classes, AP classes, CCP classes, whatnot. You should not be doing this. You could be doing so much better stuff. I understand, oh, you're a YouTube commentator. What do you have to say? I'm making money off this. That doesn't go without saying that I definitely don't just do this for money. I promise you. I love the community. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have people commenting on my videos. Also, if you're an actual fan of me, you'd be in my Discord link in the description. Bad time to promote, but yeah, that's where I talk to people. And you know that half my shit gets demonetized for absolutely no reason, so very rarely do I even make money off my content. And there's points in my life where I question, what am I doing in my life? Why do I make YouTube commentaries? My videos really aren't that good. Then I realize people like this exist. People like this need to be called out, and people like this deserve to get off the internet because, well, it'd be a better place without them. I understand trolling. I understand doing a bunch of stuff, but this... This just, it's not funny. It's borderline just not funny. No one's laughing, everyone's laughing at you. And they feed off negative attention because, well, they didn't have any as a child. Also, I don't know if I forgot to mention this. This person came from my comment section, so there's a good chance that this guy's actually watching my video. And if you are, man, I hope you've heard what I've said so far because it's all true and you need to work on yourself before anything. And to be completely frank, I only found this person as I was going through my comment section to find this one person I had a huge argument with, which I'm going to be showing you right now. And let me put a trigger warning on loss of brain cells coming up because this guy literally lacks brain cells and he made me lose brain cells. Also, I will be hiding all of these teasers from my channel so they can't comment on my videos and get the publicity they so desperately crave because, well, I, I don't have to say it again. You know why they need attention and so do I. Now this individual goes off by saying, Jack's dad is rotting. And I don't know what I was replying to, but I said, oh, go for it, lol. I have no clue what I was replying to. It definitely wasn't that text. This guy goes on to say, okay, mate, bully away. Take your best shot. I guarantee you'll embarrass yourself, but go right ahead. And I presume he was responding to one of my subscribers who's defending Jacksepticeye and Jacksepticeye's dad because, well, they probably have common sense. And then this guy goes ahead to add me and say, bro, your career is rotting in the trash. Just give up. I understand saying stupid shit if you're maybe like drunk or high. Hi, but this dude ought to be both because this is probably the dumbest shit I've ever heard considering my career is booming. It is the best it's ever been doing recently because, well, I went from getting 100 subscribers every other day or every other three days to getting it every single day consecutively because I've been uploading every single day. I've been on my grind. I've been calling out idiots on the internet like you and people subscribe for that. And I mean, thank God for those people. Thank you if you subscribe. Thank you if you're against these people. It really does mean a lot. But to this person, it doesn't matter. It, your opinion really doesn't matter when you're rocking with the 65 subscribers, and that's exactly what I replied with. You have 65 subscribers. And I don't normally make fun of people's subscriber counts, but when it comes to people arguing about careers being dead, well, it's something that needs to be brought up. Oh, and do keep in mind that I didn't see his comment about Jack's dad rotting at the time, so if I did, I would have probably blocked him or said something along the lines of, you're a scummy individual, not you have 65 subscribers. He replies by saying, bro, I'm not doing this for views or sub, I just like trolling, and nobody knows me, so there's not really a risk, lol. You legit trying to play the YouTuber rat race and it's actually sad. And keep in mind, I didn't know at the time he said Jack Stadder was rotting in hell. I would have made a way better argument if I did. But in direct correlation from him saying, I just like trolling, I realized what type of an individual this guy was. So I scrolled up and saw the text and well, let's just say I was not in the mood for this at all. I reply by saying, so you're doing what you're doing for nothing? You're the sad one. Dare I say pathetic. I don't know how you have so much time on your hands to be such an awful individual, but I'm sorry your parents failed at raising you right because that's exactly how I feel. That's how I felt at the time. I'm lucky enough to not have to deal with the major loss in the family yet. I'm sure it's gonna happen and I'm dreading the day it does happen. I'm not gonna bring it up on social media because, well, people like this. But I would not disrespect anyone losing a person in the family and I wouldn't want you guys to give any disrespect towards me at the time because I'm gonna be the most vulnerable when that happens. So was Jack. Yet people think, oh, 22 million subscribers. I'm sure he's never gonna see what I have to say. Nobody knows who I am. Dude, w words hurt and as corny as that is, it's true. And if Jack Jacksepticeye were to see all your comments and I'm sure he's seen them because Connor Pugs made a video on on this topic. He got 1 million views. Jacksepticeye is going to probably have to address this. It's just pathetic. People like this, it's not even trolling. It's just sad. I know actual trolls that have done way worse shit. However, what you're doing is just immoral. What they do is trolling. They reply by saying, bro, I'm enjoying myself, so it can't be all that bad. Nice. You're enjoying yourself by doing this. I don't even know how I can fathom to you how that's just stupid. How do you enjoy making fun of someone's dad's passing, man? It's not trolling. It's just being a fucking shitty individual. Also, you're saying I was neglected, but you're doing YouTube as a job? Go hug your mom or something, bro. I'm not gonna say anything because I do reply to this comment, but he goes on to say a bunch of other stuff, and at the time, I was actually at my grandparents' house getting some lunch because I drove over there. I was saying hi. I was saying what's up because, you know, I actually have a loving family I can go see whenever I want. They live close. And then this guy just kept on rambling and rambling because, well, 
we know he doesn't have a loving family. And I I'm sorry if you don't have a loving family if you're watching this video. As long as you're a better individual than this, I will never use it against you. I swear to God. You gone off to cry now, bro. Guess I win the argument. Jack's dad resiting in the bin. And he says this because I didn't reply for 50 minutes because you know what? I was doing something. I have a life. And that's exactly what I reply with. Sorry I haven't been responding. I happen to have a life unlike you. And I have not read the last message. I'm about to read it. And God, I need to brace myself for just pure stupidity. Oh, actually, there isn't any other replies from him. I'm glad. It's just someone telling me that he's a troll and to kind of ignore him. And I understand. If you see troll in this comment section below, just report and ignore because I'm tired of this. I just felt like I need to make a video. I've been rambling on for 10 minutes. That just shows that I did not really give my opinion out in my last video, considering it was only like 5 minutes of me talking, 2 minutes of Jaden, and 1 minute of Jack. I doubt my words can get deep enough to reach the fucking thick skull that most of these people have. However, if they even got somewhat close to your brain, if you can even fathom what I'm saying, then please do consider being a better individual because, well, it will help you in the long run, I promise. Because once you're off the internet, once you're out of your mom's house, if you even have one, stuff's not gonna go well for you, especially to that racist person I covered earlier with the you-know-what as their profile picture and and in their name. Thank you all if you did watch this far, it does mean a lot. I hope you all enjoyed. Go subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video. Leave a like on the video also. Give Jack some love. Go subscribe to his channel. Go comment some positive stuff on his comment section. If you see any of these people, remember, report and ignore because all they want is attention. Although, I don't know what the attention's for considering they don't have monetization. They don't have anything. They have nothing to gain other than negative energy and well, the negative energy will catch up to them. I hope you all have a lovely and blessed day unlike the people that are doing this shit. Be good people guys. Adios.